In this video, I wanted to show you the differences in the ball bearing 6262 Gen 1 versus the Gen 2. The Gen 1 is on the right and the Gen 2 is on the left. First, you'll notice the obvious difference is that the bearing housings are slightly different, but the cages have a small variation that you can't see. The cages must go with the shafts that were in each of these. The Gen 1 had a staggered shaft, but the Gen 2 did not have a staggered shaft. The difference was that the Gen 2 had a slightly tighter ball bearing cage on the inner race to be able to fit in a journal bearing turbine wheel shaft. And on the right, the Gen 1 was able to use the GT37R style a version of the shaft where it was staggered which matched the cage. Now the compressor housing and the exhaust housing are both the same and they're both the same for journal bearing turbos as well. However you will notice that the compressor wheel and turbine wheel are the same but the shaft has those variations that I talked about earlier. Where this grease spot is located is where the stagger will be or won't be. So keep that in mind, if you do have the stagger, you need the GT37R cage, which is the same as the GT40 and GT42R cage. Now here's the thrust collars. The thrust collar on the right is Gen 1, and the thrust collar on the left is Gen 2. Gen 1's thrust collar is the exact same as a GT37R thrust collar. Gen 2's is a unique thrust collar. The difference is that Gen 1 uses the same compressor seal as a TO4E turbo, and Gen 2 uses the same seal as a big shaft turbo. So this makes a difference when you go to rebuild these that you need to tell me which seal you need. If you have the Gen 2, be sure to tell me you need the big shaft seal, front seal. If you have the Gen 1, be sure to tell me that you have the TO4E front seal. Now both rear seals are the same, and both rear seals are TO4E rear seals, which is actually the same as the big shaft rear seal. The Precision 6466 also uses the big shaft front seal. Notice the size difference. This is the Gen 2 front collar with the Gen 2 plate. And here's the Gen 1 front collar with the Gen 2 plate. So you can see what a difference in the size is and how it won't work. The ball bearing cage in the Gen 1 is the exact same as the GT37R, GT40R, and the GT42R. The only difference in the ball bearing cage of the Gen 1 versus the Gen 2 is the stagger for the shaft. So for the Gen 2, it won't have an extra stagger cut for the rear sleeve so that you can use the journal bearing shaft. This was a good idea that Precision had so that they could use their journal bearing shafts in their ball bearing builds. However, it wasn't really that great of a design idea because it wasn't a press fit. Both turbos used a 5mm superback compressor wheel which is the same even as the journal bearing version of this turbo. However, the differences was that the compressor plate for the Gen 1 still works for the journal bearing 6262. However, the compressor plate for the Gen 2 was not interchangeable with the journal bearing version. It was a special plate that was designed to have a bolt through pattern to tighten the bolts to the bearing housing. However, if you need this plate, it's pretty difficult to get one, so I just convert everything over to use the Gen 1 plate, or I convert it over to use a completely different setup, as I mentioned in my GTX 3582R compressor housing and wheel video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that you were able to learn something so that you're able to tell me what parts you need to be able to make your build. Now, I am going to be rebuilding both of these turbos, of which both will be different combinations. And I'll be able to share those with you so you can see what I did to repair them.
Be sure to watch my Precision 6262 Turbo Upgrade Options video to see what you can do with these turbos. One turbo I am going to convert into the GTX 35A 2R compressor housing and likely the GT37R shaft. So stay tuned and be subscribed so you can see those videos if you'd like to see them.